hi everyone welcome back to my channel it's been about two weeks since i've uploaded a video i do have one that i have not edited yet but i just wanted to do this quick video on the five top questions i am frequently asked okay so here goes and i will answer them here as well okay so number five how have i dealt with this so how was i dealing with this emotionally uh truth be told i still get upset not as much as i did when i first came out of the hospital um i do sometimes still cry about it uh, especially when like i have dreams that i'm walking with my own leg and then i wake up and i realize i don't have my leg anymore but it's gotten so much better this is my new reality and my uh, friends and family have been a big source of support and help so that has definitely made it easier although i do still get frustrated that i can't do as much as i had before i lost my leg okay number four do i wear my prosthetic leg in the shower no i do not uh it is made out of metal um so there is the potential of it rusting <laughs> i got a rusty leg i'm a pirate um so no i do not wear my leg in the shower okay number three uh this one annoys me the most i think are you a diabetic yes i am a diabetic but that's not why i lost my leg i also have raynaud's uh phenomenon which means my fingers turn blue. You can see a little bit there that they're a little blue at this moment because it's cold. With Raynaud's, you can develop ulcers. I had this in a previous video. You can develop ulcers, and if they're not taken care of, if it doesn't go away, it can lead to necrosis, and that's what happened with mine. I had a toenail ulcer. It wasn't healing. I went to a couple of doctors. They finally decided to remove the toenail, and that never healed, surprise, surprise. And then that led to my amputation. Okay, number two. This one is, do you get phantom pain? Can you feel your leg? Or as one of my young friends asked me, do you get ghost leg? leg? <laughs> yes, I do get phantom pain. Um, sometimes I feel the foot as it was, um, prior to the amputation, which I felt a lot of pain in the toes and the foot and the ankle. Um, other times, it's just weird. I just feel it. Like sometimes I'll be taking a shower and I'm showering, you know, and then I'll feel like if my foot is wet, but I don't have the foot, obviously. Sometimes the sensation is so strong that when I stand up, I want to put the foot down. And I fell a couple of weeks ago because that's what happened. Uh... I was in my wheelchair trying to get back in my room. My daughter's cat tr was trying to get in. I was trying to stop her from getting in and I felt myself sliding off the wheelchair. <laughs> and I had my left foot and then I went to put down my right foot, which I don't have. But no bruises, nothing. I just kind of slid off the wheelchair. <laughs> Okay, and then number one, this is the cutest and the funniest. I've had several young kids, you know, like under eight years old, ask me, when is your leg going to grow back? That is the cutest thing. Oh, so, you know, it's not going to grow within a week or two or anytime soon. So I'm just dealing with the prosthetic right now. Um, but that's a funny question I guess. Is your leg going to grow back? Or, oh, this was another one. Uh, I was rolling into our congregation in the wheelchair, and this little girl asked me, why are you in a stroller? <laughs> that was so funny. Why are you in a stroller? So, yeah, so those are the top five plus one things that I'm asked frequently. I hope you guys are staying safe out there. Stay tuned. Please hit subscribe, like. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.